Good evening. Um, I'm Catherine Harper, 279 Mulberry Street, Keene. Uh, speaking about the Pumpkin Festival, uh, I didn't realize $80,000 was going towards it. Uh, personally, I liked it a lot better when it was a lot smaller. Uh, I sort of live in the epicenter of the whole thing, living on Marlborough Street, and I feel like this, our part of town <coughs> is disproportionately affected by the Pumpkin Festival. We experience the negative effects. Um, I can hardly get out of my driveway, and uh, we do have trash on our lawns, lots of noise. Um, and I, I guess I question, <coughs> What kind of marketing are we trying to do, really? Um, are we trying to attract uh, new business to Keene by holding the Pumpkin Festival? Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I just question whether it's worth all that money. I think it's too much, really. And um, I've left town the last couple of years because I don't want to be affected by it. It's, it's just uh, not a good thing for us. So thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, sir. I am Walt Sayer, 290 Main Street, Keene. And uh, first of all, I'd just like to say that I think the Pumpkin Festival is a wonderful event. The Pumpkin Festival. But I have two concerns about it. Number one, the way it's funded. I do not believe the city should pay even one dollar to fund it. I think that there should be a, an admission charge. Um, I think there should be an admission, admission charge for people coming in, small. And I think that could fund it so that the city would not be burdened by it. Um, also, the businesses that um, that um, are affected by that should also pay possibly um, a small fee. But I, I think if you, you charge an admission fee, that um, it would take all of the problems of funding it would take care of itself. That's my first concern. My second concern is what happens after the pumpkin festival. As that a uh, lady that just, I didn't catch her name, but before me, I'm at ground zero, basically. And last year, the problem was made um, worse by the fact that Keene State officials said that there could only be one visiting person per dorm room on Keene State property. So what happened last year was the street next to me, Elliott Street, which is just about all college houses, there were endless cars, and there were maybe 50 kids in each unit. Um, the police cannot keep up with this. And I was wondering if the council could work with Keene State College in the upcoming years and coming up with a plan. It's not just the Keene State kids. It's become all of the colleges from the area and their friends come to Keene. Because if, if it was just Keene State, there would not be any kind of problem, I don't think. I mean, there'd be small problem. And I understand last year it was fairly um, successful having some of the Keene State kids uh, clean up after the pumpkins. That was good. And that's a, a good step in the right direction. But it's all the other college kids coming into Keene to visit their friends. That's the problem. And, um, you know, all, all hours of the night, the police for the last two years say they cannot keep up with it. It's like a, I, a quote. You can take this for words. It was like a war zone. So I would really like the council to really work with Keene State College and say, what are we going to do about this? Are we going to let other college kids come into our town, take it over from like 11 p.m. to 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning? I mean, I think we really have to do that. Thank you for listening.